So when equipment manufacturers make equipment, they tend to uh, make them either 110 volt or they take, make, make them 240 volt, um, depending on what market they're selling into. Um, and some of the equipment manufacturers have, have been quite good in the way they actually uh, deal with uh, voltage swaps. I mean, some of it's just dead easy on the back of the piece of equipment. You have a slider that says what voltage you're on and you just select it and away you go. Other pieces of older equipment like this M1, um, they require you to swap a board inside to do the conversion. It's a relatively easy thing to do um, and I'm going to show you how to do it in the next steps. Um, if you look at my video on changing the battery, it tells you how to take the M1 to pieces, how to get to the internal gubbins. Um, and once you've got to the internal gubbins, then it's a relatively easy process to uh, to convert this from a 110 volt unit or a 240 volt unit to a 110 or a 110 to a 240. So this is about converting um, a 110 volt supply M1R to a 240 volt supply and I actually bought this unit um, when I bought this unit it was a 110 volt unit um, which meant I had to have a uh, step up transformer uh, or in this case a step down transformer uh, connected to the unit so that I can actually use it um, and what I actually did was I went and bought um, an old uh, unit that wasn't working had been cannibalized by a previous owner and I picked it up off eBay for about 10 quid I think it was maybe it was a, maybe it was 15 pound I can't remember now it was a long time ago um, and I took out the 240 volt board uh, out of the other unit and I put the the board in here and it's really a simple process so you know don't feel it's uh, something you can't do yourself there are actually six screws one two three four five six and you need to undo those six screws in order to get to this one at the back you need to undo um, I think it's four screws yes it is four screws on the back of this board here and this board then just comes forward uh, you can then get to the sixth screw which is at the back these ribbon connectors that are on the board here they just pull off like so. Just push that one back in like that. And then you can take the board out, put a new one, uh, 110 or 240 volt board in, and that's the board done. Then you effectively have to just reverse assemble it. When you come to the actual power supply itself, obviously this was fitted with a US style power socket. Uh, and I wanted a UK style power socket so I went to a shop in the UK called Maplin and I just bought a uh, 240 volt UK spec IC connector took the US one out and then this one bolts in exactly the same place so there's no um, cutting or modification it's one out one in and then I soldered onto that um, the uh, electrical wires for in and out, hot, they call it hot and cold. Um, we would know it as live and neutral, with the black being the live, and the yellow in this case being the neutral. Um, in on the boards, in terms of what the board says, the hot is black and the cold is neutral, or the hot is live. And then the other two wires that you need to solder here are the what they call SW positive and SW negative which are these two wires here and you know which is which and I don't think it can, you can see it on the video but actually on the SW negative there is actually writing on the cable okay so you can you can know which way around it goes um, but to be honest that just goes to the on off switch that sits at the front of the unit so it doesn't really make one too much of odds if you get it the wrong way around and that is all you need to do to convert your M1 from a US spec to a UK spec.